This demonstration is to do with the, the buttons in the centre. You, you're probably aware if you've sat in one or if you own one. Uh, we've got um, the facility to adjust the centre differential. Now naturally these are 41% to the front, 59% to the rear. And on auto mode, which it will default to when you start it up, the computer is looking where it needs the grip and it will move it pretty instantaneously to wherever it needs the grip. So if the back slip, it'll put it to the front and vice versa. So with the rollers, with the rear wheels in, we can demonstrate uh, the difference between it being fully open centre diff, which gives us the 59% to the rear, to a fully locked centre diff for, again, bad weather conditions or driving on gravel. The other one, the auto mode will do it itself. It will look where the distribution of the power needs to be. So what should now happen is the rear wheels will spin a little bit more than it would do if it was locked because it's giving more power to the rear. Okay, now you can see it's started to come out because it will still operate. It's not fully open. It still will operate the centre diff. We'll put it into lock now. So if it's bad weather, this is the best mode because you're getting a 50-50 torque split. We should see very little turn of the rear wheels before it pulls away. Okay, Kent? There you go. So if the weather's dodgy, manual mode, lock the centre diff and that will give you more equal distribution if you're in muddy fields or anything like that. And uh, if you want a bit more of a, a dynamic drive, you can have it in rear mode. In auto mode, it will slip a little bit, sense that it's slipping and distribute the power where it's needed to go.